Have you ever wondered what the difference is between galvalume steel or galvanized steel? In this video, we're gonna break down the differences between these two types of steel. Recently, we went down to Florida to meet with McElroy Metals and Ken, who's the VP of Marketing there, to get an expert's opinion on the differences between galvalume and galvanized, and specifically, how the differences affect your building for the durability and long-term impacts. In the metal roofing and siding industry, there are primarily two types of substrates. One is galvanized, one is galvalume. Galvanized substrates have been in the marketplace for centuries. It's a matter of putting zinc onto the raw steel, and that zinc then is what provides us protection against corrosion. Back in the 1960s, a product came out called galvalume. Galvalume had the same zinc coating as a galvanized substrate, only it also added aluminum to the coating, and this enabled the product to last longer. When it comes to galvanized coatings, there are a couple of key things to remember. There's always a G in front of the galvanized, so it may be a G60 or a G90 or a G100. That G represents how much zinc coating is on that galvanized substrate. So a G60 coating has 60 ounces of zinc front and back of protection on that raw steel, whereas a G100 has 100 ounces. And the important thing to remember is that amount of zinc has a direct correlation to the longevity of the lifespan of that product. So a G100 offers a lot more protection than a G60. G60 are things that should be used for interior liner panels or anything that a homeowner or a business owner doesn't care about long-term performance. So remember, the higher the G, the longer the performance. So the performance of the zinc on a galvanized substrate, the zinc will sacrifice itself in the event of a scratch. Similar to a cut you may get on your hand, that scab that forms on a steel panel, that's almost an analogy to that's the protection itself. So the zinc, zinc is sacrificing itself to stop the control of, or stop the spread of rust. A galvalume substrate, on the other hand, has the zinc protection of self-sacrificing, but also has a combination of aluminum, and the aluminum will stop the spread of rust. You know, back in the 1960s, steel mills developed galvalume. So galvalume is really a better generation or a better substrate than galvanized as far as long-term protection. And one of the ways to really differentiate between galvanized and galvalume is that steel mills will offer a a warranty against perforation on a galvalume substrate. They don't offer the same thing on a galvanized substrate. So at McElroy Metal, we sell both galvanized and galvanized substrates. Our galvalume substrate has a warranty on it and galvanized does not. That's one of the main things that we tell to homeowners or somebody putting a post frame building up. If you look at long-term protection, long-term performance, most of the industry studies show that galvalume is a superior substrate. We hope this video is educational for you in regards to your post frame project that you're looking into. If you want more information, feel free to subscribe below in regards to post frame content and always remember to build with confidence.